how loneliness causes obesity, how it affects you, and what you can do about it. A very important topic. Loneliness won't only make you obese and cause you to lose your health, it can cause you your life. Loneliness produces a profound psychological injury, one that alters your sensitivities and challenges your view of life. You can start to imagine that people you are involved with care much less about you than they really do. It makes you really fearful to reach out for help. Why set yourself up for despair and being rebuffed when your soul is already suffering? Why put yourself through it? You can be in the clutches of genuine loneliness while surrounded by people. Loneliness is expressed emotionally. You know, here's a chart from England. It's now considered to be smoking in ter- likened to smoking in terms of associated diseases. You are 13 times more likely to develop type 2 diabetes, 3 times more likely to suffer a heart attack, 245 times more likely to develop high blood pressure. Men are three times more likely to develop colon cancer and the causes of uh, at least 30,000 deaths per year. You can see that 30% of children are becoming obese, uh, 26% are obese, and it's an ongoing struggle. And it all comes from loneliness, and we want to share with you some ideas on that. It expresses itself when you feel socially and emotionally separate from people in your life. There have been many studies regarding loneliness, and all of it is alarming. Prolonged loneliness raises your chances of a premature death by 45%. Loneliness can cause you to have both high cholesterol and blood, high blood pressure. It even overpowers your immune system, making you susceptible to all kinds of infections and illnesses. Loneliness brings on a feeling of being empty and increases the desire to fill that emptiness with food. One major cause of loneliness is the fact that most of us lose family and true close friends as we age. Our world is changing and not always for the better. Depression can be the cause of your obesity. Prolonged loneliness is as bad for your long-term health and longevity as cigarette smoking. Cigarettes come with the warning labels that say this could murder you. There is no such label for loneliness. Report, research reports that women suffer more from loneliness than men because basically they're the caregivers. You must place your psychological health first and safeguard your emotional health. It is difficult to treat a psychological injury if you don't even know you're injured. Loneliness distorts our perception and, mislead, and misleads us. We know something is very wrong, but we don't know what to do. What you can do, and this is what uh, we're bringing you on the Saturday morning diet. The hunger you feel is not for food, but for people. Invite people over or out for dinner rather than eating alone. Take a course or learn to dance. We recommend learning the Lindy Hop. The Lindy Hop is not that hard and it's truly a fun part in the dance. Lindy Dancing is enjoying a current revival. You meet many wonderful people with no age considerations. Treat yourself with kindness and be thoughtful in your self-talk. Seek support from friends and family or join a group. Remember that most times, misfortune does not always come to injure. Use power posing to increase the feel-good hormone and reduce the bad stress hormone. You can replace loneliness with power posing. Stand up, put your hands on your hips and feet apart. Think of yourself as doing the Superman or Wonder Woman pose for two minutes to get the hormones running. That's all it takes, just two minutes. A feeling of well-being will help change your state of mind and attitude. The increase in testosterone and reduction of cortisol will help you overcome your sense of hopelessness to control your bad eating habits. Power posing will help you replace the good feeling that food is giving you. And uh, look at that picture of that crowd there. Young man, a, a young woman dancing with an older man. Uh, people enjoying Lindy Hopping. And, and here's some of the power poses you can take to bring yourself out of that funk. 
Last but not least, this period of loneliness will pass if you work at it. Sometimes the bad things that happen in our lives put us directly on the path to the best things that will ever happen to us. You might go out there and learn to Lindy dance and meet a wonderful person or wonderful people. You gotta get out of your shell because in your shell, you're not gonna meet anybody and you're not gonna expand your life. You can purchase one of our low-cost, weight-loss, e-cost packages at SaturdayDiet.com. Please like us on Facebook, tell a friend, Please subscribe and share this video with everyone on your email list. Thanks for watching and please share your experiences and comments with those other subscribers to the Saturday Diet. Thanks again. Write us if you need help. We'll see you on the next video.